Hi, I'm Alan, and I'm here to introduce you to and guide you through the video that you just bought, Yoga With Your Boots On, Yoga For The Construction Industry. And what I want to do is I really want to uh, kind of direct in how you're going to utilize this video to start with. What I'm really most interested in is uh, getting you to understand the entire thing. So I'm looking for you, when, once you purchase it, I'd like you to sit down, I'd like you to look at the entire video, start to finish. It's almost, almost gonna be an hour long. So you can do it in segments, however you wanna do it. But look at the whole thing before you start to practice anything. And then as we then start to practice, uh, the very first thing that I want to introduce you to is the plumb bob. In the plumb bob, there's two different plumb bobs on the video uh, descriptions of the pose. One of them, I'm dressed exactly like I am now, Levi's and a t-shirt. And uh, the first one describes with me in my, in my Levi's, the first one is describing the alignment, the stacking of everything that's going on. And the second one, I'm dressed in three-quarter length shorts that I practice my yoga in frequently and a tank top so that I can move easily. But the intention of me being in the shorts and the, and the tank top is that you can see my muscular action. And so that's what I'm trying to get. So the very first one is talking about the alignment. The second one is alignment and actually muscular action as well. How do we lift the kneecaps? How do we straighten the legs? How do we straighten the arms? How do we lengthen the spine? This plumb bob is absolutely essential. It is the basis for everything that goes on. So making the legs work, keeping the spine long, keeping yourself present, keeping yourself with the muscles working strongly is absolutely of the most importance. So we've got the two plumb bobs and then we go to the framing square and the framing square is the right angle stretch. You'll see me on a ladder doing it and that lengthens the side ribs lengthens the spine, it can actually open up the neck, and if you do it correctly and you lengthen the arms, we can also get at the shoulders. You'll start to learn all of this. We go from the framing square to the auger. The auger is a standing twist or seated twist, and what it does is starting to corkscrew mainly the thoracic spine. This is where most of our turning comes from, but it also is going to help your lumbar. We go from the auger to the rebar tie, which is starting to open our shoulders. We're reaching behind ourselves and holding ourselves, holding our hands as best we can. So it's lengthening the tricep, lengthening the back of the arms. It's starting to deal with the shoulders. And at the same time, there's a release in the neck that can happen with these. Right? We go from the rebar tie to the speed square, and the speed square is, is a triangular pose. And my legs are spread wide, and I look like a triangle. And that starts to strengthen the legs, it opens the hips and groins, and start to get length in your side body. From have the speed square, go to the T-square, and the T-square I'm standing, and I ultimately end up with my foot on a ladder, and that starts to, with the, with the plumb bob action in the thighs, it starts to release these hamstrings. You hear our wine train in the background? Oh well. Uh, so we go from T-square to quarter round, and the quarter round is the standing back arch. And so we're lifting the side ribs, we're lengthening the lower back, and we're lifting, we're trying to pull our shirt right out of our pants with the, the quarter round. Once we finish the quarter round, then it's a good idea to do the auger again, to try to release the spine. When we finish all of that, we're gonna go and I'll take you into a very, very simple short meditation. So that's, that's all of the video, but a little bit more instruction is what i really like you to do. Like I said, go ahead and watch it through the first time, and then the second time you're ready to watch it, set yourself up so that you can practice in the sequence that I've given it to start with. Once you've done it a couple of times in that sequence, then please go to any chapter that you want. I really want to work on my shoulder. And I say you could practice, if you practice this for five minutes, you're going to benefit from it. If you could find a half an hour to spend on it, great but ideally you're going to spend time on the job doing this. So it's like I just stacked all my lumber or I just put up my scaffolding here because I was scaffolding, I was going to, I'm going to strip this wall. I put up the scaffolding and by golly, lifting and everything, oh, my shoulders are so sore, I can set myself up here right here. Uh, I can start to open my shoulders up very, very simply. And you'll find as you spend more and more time with these videos, that it'll start to make more sense and you'll start to ad lib different things. You'll start to, oh, I can do it this way. And this really helps my shoulder better. My back really likes this. So with that, 
I really, really want to encourage you to stay with it. Uh, this is for the time spent. You can't, you can't spend your money better. This is preventative medicine. And if you put your time in at the beginning, we're going to leave the pains that you have and we're going to avoid future injuries. So please, love yourself, take care of yourself, and let me see you in the video room. Let me see you in my mind's eye practicing. If you have any questions at all, you can call me, you can email me. I want to talk to you. I want to make this a benefit for your life because it's going to change you in many, many ways. It'll actually make construction so that you don't walk out and go, God, it takes me till noon to warm up so I'm not in pain. And then after I get home and I sit down, then I'm in pain again. All that pain is gonna eventually disappear. So you have my blessings, please practice. See you soon, take care.